I'm also delighted to be joined by a lady who has uh, graced your screens for many years. She's also been for the past, I can't believe it, 25 years, a real passionate yoga devotee. Uh, she's Glynis Barber. She's come up with this uh, DVD. Now, yes, there's yoga in it, uh, together with her yoga expert, but there's a lot more than that because there's a, a really holistic approach here. So there's dietary advice, there's skincare specialists she talks to, there's uh, facial exercises, not just yoga for the body. And she's promised me a down dog, she's promised me a child's pose, and I'm hoping we might even salute to the sun in a little while from now. Yes, I'll get my shoes and socks off for that. And then we've also got something that an awful lot of people are just wear uh, and you can get extra brush heads, by the way. Now, um, uh, I'm going to take my socks off. Glynis has told me, take my socks off. Glynis is with me. Uh, Glynis Barber has got this fabulous DVD. Now, what's special about this is, yes, it's yoga and it will teach you lots of yoga moves, but it's much more than that. What are we going to do, first of all? Well, I thought we'd just relax quickly in a child's pose. Go on, then. Let's do the child's pose. So, which is feet, oh. yeah, uh, uh, knees slightly apart, yeah. arms forward, and then just... Relax right down. It's perfect for this time of day, I'll and tell you. And that completely releases your spine. How does that feel? I'll just be here for about 10 minutes, I no, think. No, OK, Simon, you've got to get out. <laughs> now, Glyce, I mean, you're, you've been on the screen, the stage, uh, you know, on our TVs for many, many years. But all that while, you've been a passionate devotee of yoga. And I suppose I people probably underestimate how tip-top you have to be and the top of your game to be in that business. You do. Uh, when you're working, um, it, it, you know, when you're working on stage, for example, it's, it's a little bit like being an athlete, being on stage, yeah. the adrenaline and the energy that's one needed to be on stage. And, uh, and obviously when you're on television and on film, you need to look really good. And then when you're not working, uh, you need to be in good mental shape because you need to be able to take all yeah. the rejection. So and it doesn't matter whether it's Dempsey and Makepeace or EastEnders or, or on the stage doing a live performance. You know, being mentally alert, physically able, gives you the power to do it. Well, I started doing uh, yoga, actually. I, I began it for the first time um, when I was doing Dempsey and Makepeace. OK. And that was a physically challenging role as it, well. It was, actually. I did a lot of my own, my own stunts and I was covered in bruises. And um, it, it was very challenging and I was quite fit. But I, I needed to calm down, which is why I started mm -hmm. yoga. And, um, and I also needed, the, I needed flexibility because yoga is wonderful with flexibility. So I've been doing yoga for, for over 25 years. Now, you, you're also with Howard Knapper, um, a real yoga expert. Yes, he's, he's wonderful. He was going to be here today and unfortunately he couldn't make it. So. But, but the thing is, the yoga isn't extreme yoga. It's, it's good for beginners. And if you're a little bit unsure, you kind of know the down dog, you know the salute to the sun, but you're not quite sure exactly how you should do it. Yes. Then you'll guide people to the correct way. And it's really important Absolutely. to do it Absolutely. So, I mean, you, you know, it's good... You know, with, with yoga, you, you, you can do more challenging postures. But, for example, I'm still doing the same postures I did 25 years because ago. Because they work. So, you know, if you're a beginner, we have a five-minute section that explains to you how to do the things. And, for example, the, the, probably the, the best-known posture in yoga is the downward dog. Let's so do I'm, a downward you know, dog. I'm ready for it. I like to get everyone into a okay. downward dog. So. so, we're going to start... Um, on our hands and knees, mm -hmm. and your hands are going to be underneath your shoulders, okay. and your, your knees are hip width apart. Got it. And then you're going to tuck your toes under, yep. and then you're going to very slowly raise your hips. Slowly. I mean, you, you may be able to straighten your legs, you may not. Um, so let me take a look at uh, what you're doing there. Well, now that is pretty good. Nah. I, would put, I would put your uh, your feet a little further forward. Forward. I okay. would bend your knees a little bit, uh -huh. and you're, you're arching your back a little bit here. So okay. we, we we want to release that. So I would I would put your your feet uh, further apart. Okay. Now you see what you're doing. This is actually a resting pose, believe it or not. I really? know it looks quite challenging, mm. but it's doing so many things because by Bending your legs, and we explain this on the DVD, it's okay if you bend your legs. In fact, if you bend your, your knees a little bit, you're releasing your pelvis. You can come down if you're getting tired. And it, it, it releases your spine. Uh -huh. But you're also, as you probably felt, you're working your arms, you're working your shoulders. Excuse me, I'm touching you no, a lot it's here. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. Your, your shoulders and, and everything. It, and it's all about control and core stabilisation. And, and, and everything else. And this is all explained in how to do it correctly. It is. But it then is. the thing is, you go one step further, because it's not just a yoga DVD. 
No, it's not, because... You call it anti-aging, and, and there's so many secrets of anti-aging. Yoga is a fabulous one, and I've talked to so many people about it. Marjolaine Brugman, yourself, yoga's brilliant. But there are other things you can do. There are. I mean, basically, as an actress, and I was, I was in EastEnders a couple of years ago, and um, what people ask me all the time is they say, you, you know, because I've been around for a long time, I'm getting up there, and people say to me, what's your secret? Because you seem very fit, you seem very healthy. And... Um, I believe exercise to be the closest thing there is to an anti-aging pill. Mm -hmm. And out of all the exercises, yoga's my favourite. But it, I didn't want to do a DVD that, w that was just a workout. I wanted, to, I wanted to answer people's question, which is, what, what do you do, Gladys? What do you mm. do that makes you fit and healthy at your age? So I, I speak to a skin doctor, and we talk about, you know, are moisture, expensive moisturisers worth it? Mm -hmm. And his answer was no. And he explains why. And he explains what protects your skin, what's the best thing of preserving your skin. I talk to a nutritionist. We talk about supplements. Are they worth it? Are they good? I'm a great believer in supplements, and I take a lot of them. And um, we talk about foods and antioxidants. And then uh, we ha I have a fantastic conversation with Gemma Kidd mm. because we talk about makeup. Because a lot of people find a look, a makeup look that works for them in their 20s, and then they continue doing the same makeup. And it, it just doesn't work doesn't in work, your yeah. 40s. So Gemma's brilliant with what she comes up with. So it's a very holistic attitude to anti aging. It's not only something that you can enjoy doing, even if you're a complete beginner at yoga, but it's also something that you can watch and listen to in terms of like a, a guidebook to guide you through the various aspects, but then dip into like a reference. It has a little book in there, actually. Yeah, it has a little a booklet that explains all the benefits of all the postures. But um, one of the things, and it would be lovely if we could do, is... Uh, I have a section called You're Only As Old As Your Spine because ah. nothing makes you feel older than if your back hurts. Who's, I... who's had back issues? So, well, oh, I've... A lot of hands went up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I know okay. I do. So, what would we do for Let's that? Let's do a spinal twist, okay. which spinal is twist. another very simple. So you, we're just going to lie down mm -hmm. with our knees bent on the back. And then if you put your knees to the right, okay. put your arms out. We're, we're trying to avoid each other there. And then with your right hand onto your left knee and then breathe because yoga is all about breathing and it's so, about just relaxing into that isn't so it? you breathe in into your abdomen and then as you breathe out feel your spine oh, relax yeah. oh yeah you see your spine loves to rotate yeah it loves to rotate and then and of course we would need to do the equal and yeah, opposite don't then we? of course we have to do the other side because you, you so your left hand on your right knee and breathe and just feel that lovely rotation in the spine you're working your shoulders you're working your spine can you feel that nice can. release just that's lovely. lovely do you know it's one of these things i i have done yoga classes in the past and i absolutely love it but i just don't have time to go down the gym and get the got to make get, time but here i can yes. do it without child cover and kind of parking and booking and it's always full and I can do it when I need it. You know, I do a mixture. I go to classes. I love going to classes. I love going to the gym. But a lot of my working, I have to... Um... Just as suitable for men as it is for women? Absolutely. Good. Absolutely, yes. Linus, it's been an absolute pleasure having a chat with you. Thank you so much for Thank coming you by. Very You're going to be much. back again soon? Uh, yes, I'm on tonight. Tonight? Uh, tonight. At Excellent. Well, can we do a salute to the sun with somebody tonight, maybe? Absolutely. Okay, oh, I've volunteered them. There's lots more to come, stay tuned. Here's one of Sunday's hot picks. You'll love this easy to wear printed tunic.